I'm Jeff Haig with Envio Green Insulation. What I want to show you here at this house is a typical scenario of an old 100 year old New Orleans house. Um, we're over here on North Solomon in Mid City. And what we're looking at is an old house. He has 12 foot ceilings. He's been very concerned about his energy bill since he's been living here. He's done a great job on the entire house. It's a beautiful house, but his big concern is since he's renovating the outside, He's gonna tear off all the weatherboards. Here's the time to go in, insulate the perimeter, try to make it a very airtight structure. And this is the best time to do it. So what we're doing here is the homeowner already took off all the weatherboards from around the house. We picked a nice sunny day, looked at the weather report, made sure we were set up, ready for a good sunny day. He, in the he ahead of time, had everything taken off around the house. Now we have our installers going around the house and they are spraying two inches, a two inch average, of a of a apex closed cell insulation, closed cell polyurethane foam. Why two inches and why closed cell polyurethane foam? First of all, when it comes to anything on the exterior of a building or any situation where code would require a vapor retarder or vapor barrier, closed cell foam at two inches creates that vapor retarder, in this case, or a vapor diffuser retarder. So at two inches, because it has such a low perm rating, that will be, become your water plane and be your vapor protection from outside. Also, two inches of uh, closed cell foam will also have an R14, R15 insulation value on the walls. And then once we're finished and it's sealing up all the cracks on this uh, old, beautiful tongue and groove structure, it's going to seal it up 100%. Um, then the homeowner is gonna come back on, put his hardy plank or his weatherboards back on, and we're gonna have a nice, solid, tight envelope. After we're finished with this, what we're gonna do is work on the inside of the house, get the roof done, have a nice enclosed ca encapsulation of the roof. His energy bills, if I had to estimate, estimate, cut down in half from what they were previously when he just moved into the house about a year ago and started working on it. And biogreen insulation, we really like to pay attention to details, especially when doing an old New Orleans house like this. I mean, this gentleman has such a beautiful old house, this old tongue and groove. It's these tongue groove, tongue groove walls, as beautiful as they are, they're a pain in the butt to work with. Um, there's a lot of the concerns you have to have. For example, uh, what we did ahead of time, and we had a little bit of help from the homeowner on this, we worked together as a team. What we did is all the outlets, we went ahead and foamed them. Actually, the homeowner foamed these with expandable foam. They got, I'm sure, from Home Depot or Lowe's or any hardware store. Um, he also taped some of the areas where penetrate, uh, wiring was coming in and out or plumbing penetrations. By doing that, without, the, the, without doing this ahead of time, paying attention to these details and sealing these little possible areas up, uh, areas of concern, when we're spraying the two inches of the closed cell foam onto the walls, very possibly because of the amount of pressure, the speed at which, which the foam is coming out, it could seep through or even spray through some of these outlets, some of these cracks and crevices. So we uh, met out here the evening before, we looked at all these weak areas, me and the homeowner Jason, and we looked around and we said, okay, these are the areas we're gonna have to take, these are the areas we're gonna have to seal up. So we used some duct taping, real simple duct taping, real simple expandable foam, cans of expandable foam, took care of these weak spots. Now, as our installers are coming and filling all the wall cavities and creating that tight sealed envelope and water plane to the exterior of the house, we don't have to worry about any of this foam being sprayed to the house and messing up the beautiful house on the inside.